Hey guys, you know, today on YouTube, or in the past 24 hours plus, people have been uploading, I can't say who, but people have been uploading the featurette that was, that was and that is and will be included in the Suicide Hell to Pay movie. Whether you got the digital release, which is already out, or you're going to wait for the Blu-ray release, which is probably this week, or this upcoming week. The one thing about these DC original animated universe movies is you always get a sneak peek, a featurette sneak peek at the next one. And in this case, we are going, and in this case, we are getting a featurette sneak peek at the death of Superman. Now you might say to yourself, well, Brian, we already got a Death of Superman animated movie. It was the very first one of the DC animated universe movies. And you're right. You're right. It was. It was the very first one. However, however, just because it was the very first one doesn't mean it was a true adaption. You see, Superman Doomsday was good. Don't get me wrong. It's DVD and eventual Blu-ray sales have pretty much proven that. However, however, here's the big difference. Even though it was good, it was, a, it was not a true adaption. I mean, true. I mean, yes, it did have iconic moments in there. Don't get me wrong. It did have the iconic moments of Superman's cape, you know, tattered and ruined, flapping in the wind on a pole. It did have Superman with the mullet, mullet and the black suit. You know, it had all, it had that, there's no doubt. But the one thing that people complained about it, or claim, uh, the one thing that people complained about it was the fact that it took all the other elements and either, and either ignored them or condensed them to make one movie, condensed them all into one algorithm, if you will, algorithm. And even though, like I said, the story was good and the sales for the movie have proven, proven that to be correct, the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, it was not a true adaption like people were hoping. See, what people were hoping for with Superman Doomsday was exactly what they got when they decide, when Warner Brothers and DC decided to do a uh, animated adaption of The Dark Knight Returns. And when they did this animated adaption, they did it justice, if you will. They did it, in a sense, almost faithfully, almost to what was almost like page for page being adapted. But the way they did it, though, was something they had, was in a, but the way they did it, though, was they did it in a sense that it took not one movie, but two to tell the whole story of The Dark Knight Returns. Yeah, it took not one, but two stories. That's how massive The Dark Knight was, or The Dark Knight Return was, story-wise. Now, true, there were some obvious original scenes and dialogue maybe thrown in there, but you could never really tell because it felt like a very faithful, almost page-for-page -page adaption of The Dark Knight Returns. And now, and now, you're and now you're going to be getting that same kind of treatment with this upcoming story arc. You see, The Death of Superman... And it's actually going to be split into two separate movies. Death of Superman and The Reign of the Superman. Basically trying to stay true, if you will, to what the original source material was. And from what I saw in this sneak peek, that seems to be the intended goal. Now, yes, there are going to be some original scenes thrown in here and there with original dialogue to kind of help extend the movie's length as well as possibly help the characters and the team dynamic or the kind of help the characters and the team, the Justice League that is, uh, develop and grow throughout the film. You know, 
So that's going to be expected. But from what I've seen, you are, in a sense, almost going to get a nearly faithful, more presentable, more represented adaption of the death of Superman. That's what you're going to get. Because it kind of plays off a lot of what leads into this. You know, if you've read the story arc, if you read the comics leading into it, it kind of plays off that. When I talk about it almost being a near faithful adaption, it plays off the fact that Clark Kent is having a hard time convincing himself whether or not he should let Lois in on his secret. Let him know that, hey, yes, me and Superman are one and the same. Now, the one thing they did do in Superman Doomsday that some might have been mixed about, but what, that some may have been mixed about, but some were kind of cool with, was the fact that Lois Lane was portrayed as being very competent, as being very smart, as being very knowledgeable at the fact that she could put two and two together and come up with the right answer. And pretty much in Superman Doomsday, it showed her to already, it showed that she already knew Superman, Superman and Clark Kent were one and the same. She even, at the beginning of the movie, at the Fortress of Solitude, told Superman face to face, why don't you tell me the truth? I know who you are. Now, I don't know if they're going to play, play with that same scenario in this next one. It looks like they may. Or it might be an algorithm, a hybrid, if you will, of what we had in the Doomsday movie and what we get in the comics. In other words, she kind of knows, but she wants true confirmation. I, I can't really say whether or not it's going to be an algor- algorithm, hybrid, if you will, of the, of the two, or they're going to go in the direction of the comics, or are they going to go in the direction of what we had in Superman Doomsday, and she's going to kind of already know the truth. I can't really say. Um, again, I can't really say. Um, I think the probably the biggest difference I think that's going to be happening here from what I saw in this sneak peek um, is the fact that, yeah, you're going to have the Justice League fighting Doomsday before Superman goes one-on-one with him, but we don't know if he's going to be fighting anybody else before that. We don't know if he's going to be fighting the Teen Titans who will take the play, who, who, let's be honest, if he fights the Teen Titans before getting to Metropolis, then the Teen Titans would be more of a representation of the Justice League that fought Doomsday in the comics before he headed to Metropolis. So, will we get something like that? We don't really know. Uh, perhaps the biggest, I think, difference to take away from this sneak peek uh, to the movie is... The setting, the world setting. Um, like I said, I believe earlier, it takes place in the New 52 universe. you got to remember, right, as of right now, even though the comics are trying to separate these worlds as being their own different worlds and trying to establish things back to the way they were, you know, pre, you know, pre-New 52, This animated universe of DC is still in the New 52 universe. That is why why this version of the Death of Superman is taking place in it. Because even though the universe and the setting and the time might be different, like I said, even though the the world setting, the universe setting, and, and the time setting are going to be majorly different, it still feels like it's going to at least try and looks like it will be a more faithful adaptation of the death of Superman. Now, like I said, they didn't show much as far as what the whole movie would, like who else is going to be involved in it. I mean, they did show that we're getting the Justice League in there, of the new 52 Justice League. They did show that we're going to have Lois Lane, we're going to have... We're going to have Clark Kent's Earth parents, Martha and Jonathan, I believe. That's the same, I believe. So we're going to have them. We're going to have them. But we don't know, and of course we're going to have Doomsday, but we don't know who else we're going to have. Are we going to have Lex Luthor? Are we going to have any villains in between? 
of course we're going to have the the sailor guy that beep uh Bapo or Bipo, uh, if you will, that runs the bar, that's a huge supporter and fan of Superman's, and even offers his bar as refuge for those to keep safe while this battle with Doomsday is taking place. So you got all those characters. But again, are we still going to see Lex Luthor? Uh, Lex Luthor? Luthor? I'm sorry. Lex Luthor? Are we going to see... Any other heroes? Any other antagonists? You know, are the Teen Titans going to take the place of the Justice League fighting Doomsday before he ends up coming to Metropolis? Are we going to get that iconic scene that when he arrives, the little bird ends up in his hands and then he ends up crushing it? Just when you think he might let it fly away or be a gentle giant, he ends up crushing it and killing it? Are we going to get that? We don't know yet. I mean, we might get that scene, obviously, but we don't know about anything else. I mean, we might, because I don't want to give much away, because from what I saw here, we may get that iconic scene of where that bird lands in Doomsday's hands and he crushes it. We may, and we may not, because the way he lands on Earth, according to Sneak Peek, is completely different than in the original. So we'll have to wait and see. You know, we'll have to wait and see. Um... Apparently, this Doomsday is not going to be a robot or not going to be some super android weapon from another world. That's the big difference right there, I noticed. So, so yeah, it looks... So, yeah, overall, you know, so, yeah, overall, besides that, and like I say, the different settings, universe, world, and time-wise, and, you know, with the accept, and the accept, and with the difference, it... And with the difference of the fact that it's taking place in the New 52 universe, I think overall, I believe overall, we are going to get a more faithful representation and adaption of the death of Superman uh, than we did with Superman Doomsday, even though the setting and the world and universe and all that is completely different from when the original story was published and and where the original story took place. So... You know, there might be a few changes, obviously, that some people may or may not like or may or may not be cool with. But I think overall, we'll just have to... But I believe overall, we're going to get a good, a decent and faithful representation. I know, I know, a lot of you are going to probably say, Brian, you sound like a broken record saying faithful and all that. I know, I'm sorry, my fault. It sounds like I'm rambling. I do apologize. Uh, But... What I'm getting across here is, it looks like to me, in my opinion, we're going to get a at least more truer adaption, a more truer, almost, almost, page for page adaption of the death of Superman. Are we going to get the same thing with the follow-up, the reign of the Superman? I would think so, but we'll have to wait and see until we get a sneak peek on that. But right now, this, even though it takes place in the new 52 universe, as far as the animated movies go, and even though it takes place in basically a current and present time, if you will, and the universe and world are slightly different, I feel that from what the directors and the producers, uh, the people behind the scenes of the movie have said in the featurette, is that this is going to probably be the best adaption, the be- the best adaption of the story you're going to get, because they plan to make it almost iconically similar to what you read in the comics in a way, to where one of the things I think one of the people behind behind the scenes said, one of the creative people behind the scenes said, is just like in the comics, when the panels go from being small to bigger and bigger and bigger to the point that they're just the, to the point that they are just full-on splash pages, according to the people behind the scenes, they are going to try with this movie to recreate that feeling. Like, every time I'm the battle between Superman and Doomsday takes place, or every time some situation or fight or whatever takes place, it just gets bigger and grander and bigger and grander. It's going to feel like you're going from one 
from a small box panel all the way up to a splash page in a comic. That's what they want to try to recreate in a sense here. So it, will they succeed in doing that? We'll have to wait and see. But overall, I'm actually looking forward to this. I really am. I'm actually looking forward to it. I can't wait to see what they do. And we'll find out and we'll find out when the movie come when the movie is released this summer of whether or not it is a more faithful adaptation of the death of Superman, even though it takes place in the new fifty two universe, than Superman Doomsday was. And that's another thing too before I close. If you're wondering why they're doing this again, remember in the new 52 universe, as far as we know, Superman never really died. Superman never really died in the new 52 universe. So this would be a first when it comes to that. So overall, looking really forward to it and can't wait to see what Warner Brothers has in store for us when it comes to this movie and potentially its follow-up. But let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. I will try to provide a link to the featurette so you guys can watch it yourself. And I will talk to you all later. God bless. Take care. I am out.